So you want to learn the kettlebell snatch, the czar of all the kettlebell lifts, the ultimate exercise for blasting fat, boosting lean functional muscle, and teaching you how to be a powerful athlete. In this very brief video, I'm going to show you how to perform the kettlebell snatch with slickness and ease. There's a lot of people who teach a lot of goofy snatch progressions. I want to show you how to get the kettlebell snatch down quickly and with minimal frustration so you can put this into your training routine and reap the many benefits of this powerful unique exercise. Let's get started. So the kettlebell snatch always is going to build from a foundation of a strong kettlebell swing. This is step one. You need a powerful single arm swing. Remember the single arm swing is a hip hinge. The hips go more back than down. Your hips stay above your knees but below your shoulders and it is your hips that power the movement, not your arm, not your shoulder. That's step one. Powerful kettlebell swing. Single arm kettlebell swing. If you don't have that down, you need to go practice that. Step two, you're going to press the kettlebell overhead, lock out, get comfortable here. What you're going to do, pay attention, this is important, you're going to throw the kettlebell down towards your stomach and just catch it with your hips. Move your hips out of the way, park the kettlebell. Cheat, clean it back up, press it overhead. You're just gonna throw it like an overhand softball throw towards your stomach, move your hips out of the way at the last second, park it. What are we doing here? We're actually learning the kettlebell snatch. We're learning it in a natural and intuitive way by practicing it in reverse. Throw, catch, park. You're just going to repeat this. Couple minutes, couple days, throw, catch, park until you feel completely comfortable with it. This is a very natural, intuitive way to learn a proper snatching pattern. One more time. Throw, catch into the hip hinge, park. Step three, once you feel confident with the reverse, you're just gonna reverse it. You're gonna reverse the reverse. You're gonna reverse the reversal. How about that? It's very judo-like. Throw, reverse. Throw, reverse. Throw, reverse. Now this progression rocks because it teaches you without having to think about what the trajectory of the snatch should be. It just forces you to get it automatically. Why? Because when we focus on throwing the kettlebell to the stomach, we naturally tame the arc. We pull the kettlebell in, keep it tight. And it's that tightness of the trajectory that makes for a smooth kettlebell snatch, that smooth transition to the top. A few more tips. Make sure you get your hand there quickly. Get your hand there before the kettlebell and keep a loose grip. You don't want to death grip the kettlebell. That will tear your calluses. From here, I just want you to focus. Bring it in team, bring it in. Let me get a closer look at you. I just want you to focus on a few reps at a time. The kettlebell snatch is awesome when you do many, many reps in five minutes and 10 minutes, but just starting out to get the technique down somewhere between five to 10 reps, that is a good practice set. Work your single arm swings. Let me get this ferret out of my face. Work your single arm swings, work the snatch in reverse, then reverse reversal, and you will have a very clean and a very pretty snatch. Shouldn't have said that. Like, comment, subscribe. Strong on.